Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Mohammed Adnan, and in this video, we are going to discuss about analytics in Power BI Part One, which is to be scattered chart. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. I have made a video about the scattered chart. Which was if you haven't seen this, just click on the link given on top of your screen. Now coming back to this one, normally in most of the visuals analytics is available in Power BI Desktop. Um, if you want to use that one, you have to click on that visual and then you will have this one third column analytics. Click on that. In this scattered chart, you have multiple analytics here. Let's go one by one. The first one is the x-axis. The x-axis is the profit and y-axis is the sales, right? So just open this one and then click on add you can double click to rename this one target profit you can add multiple and if you want so let's go one by one so i want to add 18,000 is the target profit if you want to change the color of this one you can even change this if you want to change the transparency of this item you can do that and then the line style dash solid or dotted let it be dash and then it is in position if you want this line to be in front of the added chart visuals or on the back side data label i want to turn it on that it has to show 18k and then color of the value let it be the same color value name name and value so target profit is 18 horizontal to the left or to the right of it it will be on the left now vertical position above or under if you want to under it just comes down here let it be on the top and display unit let it be on the thousands better so 18k decimal if you want to show it here you can decimal show it here as well there is no option to increase the font size here unfortunately maybe in future they will add this is the x axis constant line and let's go to y axis constant line y axis constant line is the sales so target sales even here also you can add multiple that will be one now so target sale is 85 okay if you just bring up here let's say 65 then the color of target and then the transparency line style solid or dotted position in front or behind behind it just goes behind to this circle let it be in front and need the data value of it color name and value as well display unit in thousand so target sale is 65k and target profit is 18k if you look at this one the data point which is above to this level and this area or the target which is achieved and this below area is target we have not achieved cool right and then the next one is minimum line if you just click on add it will add the minimum and then you want to see the profit so i want to rename it here double clicking on that minimum profit so profit and then the color of it if you want to add you can add the color just changing it here then the transparency level line style same as well and what is the minimum value if you want to enable you can enable it here minimum profit display unit thousands decimal point everything is the same as before so minimum profit is this one if you want to add minimum again for the sales that is minimum sales you can even do that so minimum i want to put it as sale and then it is by based on sales so it just add a line below here let's give the same color as well to make it clear this is for constant line and this is for the minimum profit Get a label on with the same color 
with name and value and display units in thousands almost all the switches are same so it just gives you an information that you have one analytics here one analytics here one here and two here so by looking at this one what we understand that the minimum sales is 16k whereas others are good sales here and minimum profit is that is actually loss it is because it is in minus so minus one two eight one let's start our, our press if you want to remove it here just expand it and then you can remove it here i'm just removing it here to make another further analytics and then the maximum line if you want to add you can click on add here maximum profit Measure is profit and then the color is blue. Okay. Transparency zero. Position label on. Name and label. Display unit in thousand. So the profit is 22.12 is the maximum profit. What we achieved here. If you want to put it on the sales as well, you can do it here. Just click on max sales and then sales it will bring you it here the maximum sales data label on name and value so 95 point decimal display in thousand 95.96 you if you want to zero it here it will round up so 96 key is the maximum sale value so this for the maximum line let's go to the next one is average line click on add average profit put it here as average profit average profit is a color transparency if you look at this one this is average profit and 5967 is an average profit for us let's create one more here for average sales So this is average sale of 47.86k overall. So the next one is the median line. Click on add. Go back median profit. And then the color I want to change it to orange. So median profit is 4.89 whereas the average is 5.97 how about the median sales sales color it to be orange data label on name and value display unit in thousands 45.29 is the median sales whereas the average sale is 47.86 if you want to edit something like color just click on this one so this uh, blue is the average line and orange is the median line and then the next is the percentage line let's click on the add 
just add to profit and it brings up here here so it means the data points which is below to i mean on the left side of this percentile line is the 90 percent below 90 percent of it the profit and on the right side it is above 90 percent if you convert it to sales here and print on the horizontal here percentile line that is 71 which is above to this one or 90 percent above below to this one or below the 90 percent if you want to change this percentage level you can even do that say so if you want to check for 75 percentile value so this is 75 percent of total sale and above to this or above 75 percent sale value okay the next is the newly to added here symmetry shading just click on the add here i am just removing these two lines to so click on the add button and just add symmetric shading and the upper is yellow and lower is sky blue if you just check at this one symmetric shading is the different between the x and the y axis that is between the profit and the sales our profit is very much less um, in terms of sales if you look at this one because if this color divides into two equal parts then you may notice that the profit is equal to the sales or if this one sky blue which goes over to this area then we can understand the profit is much higher than the sales in this case the yellow is major part so the sales is much higher when compared to the profit this is the help of this one symmetric shading and then the next is the ratio line click on add one ratio line it just add up here the ratio line it is the line that goes through the origin and the point equal to sum of y and sum of x that is sum of profit and sum of sale so it allows you to compare individual data points ratio with overall average ratio and overall the point which is left side to this one is the higher in sales the point which is on the right side it is higher in profit when compared to sales this is the use of these analytics functions in the scatter chart i've also made a video about the usage of it I haven't seen that just click on the link here on top of your screen these are the basic steps of analytics in power bi there are much to go into depth based on your requirement if you like this video please click on the big thumbs up button share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback post it on the comment section below if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices Thanks for watching, keep learning, I am going to update the analytics and dance in upcoming videos a lot more. So keep watching, keep learning, see you in the next video.